completing the square is a way of rewriting a quadratic. Usually, we have a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. When we complete the square, we have the form of something x plus b squared and then plus a number on the end. So it's just a way of rewriting the quadratic and it's actually really useful for solving or for finding a minimum point. Let's show you how to do it. So here we've got x squared plus 4x minus 11. So what we're going to do here is we're going to half this middle number. So this b term, the original b term, it's 4. So we're going to half it and we're going to have x plus half of 4 is 2. And we're going to put that in a bracket. So we're going to have x plus 2 squared, so just half the real number. Now, let's look at what this means. So we'll do it over here. So x plus 2 squared, that means x plus 2 times x plus 2. If I expanded this, I'd get x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. So I'd get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, I wanted x squared plus 4x. I wanted that. I didn't want this plus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it away. So to get rid of a plus 4, I'm going to do minus 4. So now, this x squared plus 4x is the same as this. This is x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4. So that is the same as this. And we've just, just got this minus 11 on the end. So that can simplify to x plus 2 squared minus 15. And that is this completed to square. That's what we wanted. So we've got something squared and we've got minus numbers on the end. Okay, so let's now have a look at another example. What we're going to do is we're going to half the middle number, and that's going to give us x plus 3 squared. Now, I'm, I want x squared plus 6, but I don't want the last term of the expansion, and that is 3 squared. So I'm going to take away 3 squared. Take away 3 squared minus... 10 still on the end. x plus 3 squared minus 9 minus 10. x plus 3 squared minus 19. So this is the same as this, just rewritten. So we're going to half a middle number, and then we're going to take away that squared. And we've still got the term on the end. Then we just simplify. Okay. Another question, express in the form. So this is our original. We're going to express it in this form, which is completing the square. So we're going to half middle number, x plus 1 squared. We're going to take away 1 squared, which is 1, and we've still got minus 5 on the end. So it's x plus 1 squared minus 6. Hence, find the minimum point on the graph. This completing the square is really useful for finding a minimum point. So the smallest thing we can get is if the bracket equals zero. Because if the bracket is more than zero and we're squaring it, it's always going to be a positive. So the smallest thing we can get is what makes the bracket zero. And that is x equals minus one. So we've got plus 1 in the bracket, x is minus 1. That's the smallest thing we can get. That makes the bracket 0. And if the bracket is 0, y equals minus 6. So that is the smallest thing we can get. That's the minimum point. So minus 1, minus 6. Okay, same thing again. So complete the square first. So we half the middle number. So it's minus 12, so it becomes minus 6. Take away that squared. So 6 squared or minus 6 squared is 36. And we've still got plus 5 on the end. So it's x 
minus 6 squared minus 31. Hence solve the equation. So we've got x minus 6 squared minus 31 equals 0. So what we're going to do, we're going to plus 31 to both sides. So plus 31 plus 31. x minus 6 squared equals 31. And then we square root both sides. So that gets rid of the squared from this side. And it gives us plus or minus the square root of 31. Then I plus 6. So that gives me 6 plus or minus square root 31. We could type it into a calculator. So 6 plus root 31 and 6 minus 31 to get two different answers. And we can get them as decimals. But we'll leave it as this for now. Okay, see if you can have a go at this one. Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so complete the square, we're going to half middle number. So it's going to give us minus 1. And we're going to take away that squared. So that's 1. And we've still got minus 5 on the end. So that's x minus 1 squared minus 6. So we've rewritten it. Hence, write down the minimum point. So the smallest thing we can get is when the bracket is 0. So x is 1. And when this is 0, when that's gone, y equals minus 6. So that's 1 minus 6. Solve the equation. So x minus 1 squared minus 6 is 0. Plus 6 to both sides. Square root. Plus or minus root 6. And plus the 1. So I put that in front. 1 plus or minus root 6.